I thought I'd share some of the quality memes that I've been seeing on Reddit. For an example, waiting for good split souls in the shop, which is also true. Because oftentimes you go to the to the shop, oh, well, it's busy right now. Oftentimes you go to the to the shop and champions you don't want or need souls for are there. This one's also a good one. Waiting to pull for a Makage fusion champion. Dear God, you guys already know. I was waiting on this one for a long time. Centurion to summon uh, Weird Green or whatever. Shyek, Packmaster, waiting for that hound still. Polarium, we're still waiting. We are still waiting for the alluded to dog that you guys said, hey, this might come out. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. I'm sure it's going to be good. I know it's going to be good. You guys promised us, and you guys always uphold your guys' promises, so I'm sure that's going to be good. What are people saying, actually? Me, uh, exactly the same for the epic Mikage, same here, same, same. How is this possible? Same. Nubs is also missing Elinicia. Put my hand up too. Yep. Why does everybody need... Why does everyone know I need the same Mikage epic? Wait, Shadow Legends. You know why? I guarantee you the drop rates are very different according to... The statistics of who needs what overall, just the entire player base. So if Polarium sees, because Polarium can, does, will, is going to, etc., track everything. They know how many shards you guys have. They know um, the, the drops, every, pretty much anything that you do in Raid. Trust me, they know about it. They're, they're keeping the numbers. And they can probably tell, hey, or they probably decided... Hey, um, everybody is going to get this free Mythical Fusion. We're going to make sure that these drop rates are going to be a lot lower than normal. I, I guarantee you. It's the same thing for Fusion Champions. I guarantee you, Fusion Champions, I've been saying this. I'm going to continue to say it. I'm never going to stop saying it. Fusion Champions are more so heavily weighted than any other champion in Raid. In the Summon Pool, I mean. Like, you're more than likely to, to summon a Pythion. That's a past fusion champion over like i don't know a valkyrie let's see raid shadow legends i know raid shadow legends is bad because i've never seen corn on any of the characters i didn't know this was a thing what is corn i've never what is am i pronouncing it correctly six works in i love my wife six works in raid shadow legends what is this holy shit i knew it was bad but this is dire i don't even know what this means I'm also surprised by this. The game is pretty big and has no shortage of character designs. We're addicted to gambling, not corn. <laughs> Quote of the year. Love this comment. Babe, can we go out for a nice dinner? It's been a while since we've done something nice. Sorry, woman I'm married to. There's a 2x for Trunda. <laughs> Real adults. Chads of the video game industry. I think I've missed one rare fusion, though. Derisive snort. This guy's only addicted to one thing at a time. Speak for yourself. Let me see. Hilarious how bad reputa the reputation for the game is. This is what kept me from playing this game for years, the bad rep. Finally started a couple years ago, and it's the only game that held my attention on mobile for longer than a couple weeks. The character designs are great. Lots of items, event or lots of items, events, builds, blah, blah, blah. So much for you to do, even as free-to-play, as long as you're willing to be patient and realistic. Yeah, that's true. You're not going to win everything against people who wail out. So, you know, it's one of those, like, you got to just pick the battles. I'm confused... As to exactly why the rep is so bad, some of the ads and stuff are cringe, but the game is leagues better than all the copycats out here. I think this is true. I think this is something that a lot of people often forget. Despite everything that Raid does, there's nothing else like Raid, right? There's the graphics. Graphics-wise, there's nothing that's going to compete. In terms of like being able to hold your... This is my wife's account, by the way. In terms of like being able to hold your guys' attention, the community, the things to do, I think one of the things that Raid does very well is the pacing, right? Because if you play a game like, I don't know, I've tried other other games like Dragonair or Watcher of Realms or like, and, and granted, when I say try, I mean like a couple hours. So take this opinion with a very small grain of salt. That I've tried, um, I don't know, I've tried a bunch of games that are mobile games and basically they just give you everything and anything for logging in. Raid doesn't do that. Raid makes you work. They rope you in. They give you just enough to get you hooked. And then they 
start to take away from you. And then they give you a little bit of a hit right there. And then they rope you in. These missions, these quests are designed to make you feel like you're making a lot of progress. And then they stonewall you with something like, I don't know, um, this right here. This is basically time gated or this right here, you know, upgraded an affinity bonus to level 10. They work you so that you stay invested in the game. That way you stay longer and feel um, like less like you are just given everything and that you work for it so you stay in. Game gets a bad rep because in all honesty, it's extremely predatory. Yeah, this is this is exactly true. Owned by a gambling company, they know what they're doing. But guys, keywords right here, company. It does not matter what kind of company it is. I guarantee you, all companies are out to get your money. Anything you see is basically an ad shit. YouTube videos. YouTube videos are basically ads. That's it. Content creators such as myself want you to click. They want you to consume. We want you to um, watch our stuff. That's the honest truth of it. It's all the same. It doesn't matter. My videos, for an example, aren't so much different than an ad you see for like a car or a movie or a, a restaurant like Jack in the Box or something. Now, I'm not saying my ads or my videos are as good as those things that I aforementioned, before mentioned, but I'm saying the main drive and concept is the same. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, to be fair, a lot of mobile games have weaponized monetization. It's the same all around, right? This isn't new. This isn't different. Raid is not the only one doing this. That doesn't make it better, but I'm explaining to you guys that it's, you know, it's, you know, at the end of the day, it's all the same. Depends on how you want to look at it, right? Because you you spend money on that car that you didn't need to buy. You spend money on on those. Um, I'm not gonna get into it. I'm, I'm not gonna get into it. But you guys get what I'm trying to say. That was me in January. Never missed the day. True, dude. I've I've been on this. I've been on I've been on raid almost on a daily basis since I started back in July of 2019. <laughs> Who doesn't want to see more of Coldheart's underboob? Narma and Trunda are better than Coldheart. I see someone has a Cenobite kink. I guess y'all missed my war mother art. What? Please share. She's a schmexy beast. Um, yeah. The feeling after an exhaustive gear cleanse is incredible. <laughs> Looks like Forge is back on the menu, boys. There you go. Get back to forging. Now start selling items after rolling them. If they roll bad for you, you'll just have to do it over again. I've actually been um, working really hard at... Let me close this out. I've actually been working pretty hard at taking care of my gear on one of my alts. So I've started doing this thing where basically if it doesn't roll a triple, I don't keep it unless, unless it's one of those really hard sets to get or one of those uh, pay to win sets. So for an example, like, if you take a look at all this gear, I'm still working on it. It's not completely done. But like you can see, if I don't see a three, it's gone. Three, three. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, if it's a 12 and it rolls a two and it has the potential for a three, I save it until I take it to 16. That way, if it does roll a three, I keep it. If it doesn't roll a three, I get rid of it. Is this the best way to do this? This is going to be a reroll. No, it's not the best way to do it, but it's the way that I want to do it. And so there's that. Don't do what I do. Just laugh at me doing what I do triples if it doesn't triple i don't keep it now some of you guys might be saying like oh burrito that's not smart well guess what i've been doing this for a long time and it's been working out pretty well it's been working out so far i just keep things like um slayer gear for an example or this feral gear i'm going to keep that merciless supersonic i'm going to keep it but yeah that's uh that's what i've been doing with that all right back to the memes someone at polarium likes memes i'd say i've been thinking about this this is Leonardo DiCaprio from the movie um, The Great Gatsby. I think it came out in 2013. And boom, they pretty much copied it. And of course, this is a meme. I, I think it's a Vine meme. I'm not exactly sure. And here they go. This is the um, artwork for the offers that they sell in shop. There you go. They like memes. This is their way of laughing at you while they count their money and you didn't even get a legendary. I can see it now on Olympus. Or you get Mountain King and Shamrock instead of a good epic. There, there you go. MK used to be probably the best. Like, one of the best. Like, it was extremely tanky and um, 
legendary, I guess, in its original sense. Like you put Mountain King in a in a shield set. Ooh shit. Happy Friday. Here's a low effort meme. Visix the unbowed. Visix the bowed. <laughs> Come on, that's that's good enough to be amusing, right? Let's see. Meme worthy worthy. I have 90 fragments. Ooh, see that bro, I'm telling you. Fusion champions, I'm saying, bro. Fusion champions. I've been saying. Flarium just gave me 800 gems for one of my memes that I posted on their Discord. Follow your memes. You can reach your goals. I'm living proof. What is this? That's too much. Too much work for the memes, of course. Oh my god. Murphy's Law. Anything bad that will happen? Or, sorry, anything bad that can happen? Oh, shit, what am I saying? Anything bad that can happen will happen. Polarium's Law. Giving crap flat stats a higher drop rate. Nothing is equal. Neither the substats nor the artifact accessories drops. That's Cole's Law. Coleslaw. Cabbage is meh. 